This is a quick video over feedback control systems. So what I want to go in this video is the actual general diagram or block diagram for the general feedback control system. So how are we going to do that? Well, let's first start off by talking about our process. So we have our process. Process. And what is our process when you're taking a shower? Well, it's just the shower itself. So what, what accounts for this process? Well, it's the flow rate of the water coming out of the actual shower head. It's the temperature of the water shower head, of the water coming out of the shower head. So that's our actual process. Now, what are we wanting to really control? Well, if you're me, you're wanting to have the temperature be constant. So we're wanting to control the temperature. So we have our temperature be the control, control variable, variable. Now, usually you have the temperature wanting to be some precise temp. So we have some set point that we want the temperature to be at. Set point. Now how do we do that? How do we do that? How do we control the temperature of the water? Well by doing that we're actually, if you're you're me, I usually have the hot water maxed out. So the hot water is maxed out and if for some reason the, the water from the hot water heater is decreasing in temperature, I decrease, I decrease the amount of cold water coming into our system. So if we're decreasing the amount of cold water coming into our system, then the water should heat back up because there's less cold water to heat up. So what we say, the uh, the thing that is controlling how much water is coming into the system is the person. I, the person, is controlling the temperature of the water. Person. And what we say that is, is the controller. Controller. We are the people, are, we are the actual controllers of the system. Now how do we actually control the system? Well we use the uh, the valve of the cold water. So the valve is the actual actuator. Act, actuator. Actuator. So the valve is the actuator. It's the actual thing that's changing the system. The person controls the actuator. The actuator actually affects the process. So, so let's just write, let's start out with that. So we have the controller, controller, and the controller, U, changes the actuator, or the valve, the actuator, actuator. And the actuator is affecting the process, affecting the process process. And again, the process affects our control variable, or the temperature of the water. Now something else that affects the process are disturbances. Let's say for some reason the dishwasher kicks on, or the washing machine kicks on. So we have these disturbances that kick in. Disturbances. So now, what? why, why are we, the controllers, changing the actuator? Well, we're changing it due to the set point. Set point. So the set point is affecting the controller. But why is the set point affecting the controller? Well, that's because we are sensing the temperature of the temp of the water. So we have a sensor. Sensor, which is our skin, is sensing the temperature of the water, and combined combined with the set point that point, it is sending some error, E, to the controller. So let's say I'm terrible with the, uh, with, so let's say uh, we have the, we want the temperature of the water to be 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So our, no, so the, actually I'm messing up there. We want the temperature to be 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So the set point is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's say our control variable is actually only 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So that means the error in our system, when you have the set point minus the sensor, will give us 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So the error is 10 degrees Fahrenheit. So us controllers, we change the actuator to uh, change the process that will get our control variable closer to our system. 
And again, we just do that over and over again until we get this error as small as possible. So as small as possible. Now, how do we... All right, so for the most part, we're done. We just got to add in a few small things. The variable that the controller says to the actuator is C. It's just C. And what the actuator sends to the process is U. And the last thing I want to add is what are we manipulating? What is the controller manipulating? Or the actuator actually affecting? It's con it's the uh, actuator is affecting the cold water flow. The cold water flow. And what we say that is, is the manipulated variable. Manipulated variable. So what we have is the manipulated variable is the cold water flow. We have our set point, the temperature that we want the water to be at. It, with the sensor information, combines to make an error that the controller tries to decrease by affecting the actuator, and the actuator affects the process, which then, in, co in combination with the disturbances, will affect the temperature of the actual water or our control variable. And again, we just do that over and over again because it is a closed, closed loop, loop.